Oh, hey guys, welcome to the Catfish Kitchen. Today we're making ice cream. Oreo ice cream. How does that sound? First step, we need some Oreos. Very sweet. I bet you were wondering what the rolling pin was for, huh? That's to keep everybody in line. <laughs> okay. If you haven't seen my vanilla ice cream video, this is so easy. So delicious. It's the same idea. Comes from one Oreo cookie. Whipping cream. Vanilla extract. Vanilla bean paste would be really nice in this. And some sugar. That's it. That's it. But now the fun part starts. We shake. I think that's good. I had trouble with my bottle leaking. So I put a plastic bag there and we're good. Ah, show you what she looks like. You know when it's done, it starts to get thick. See that? I have a taste. Oh, lovely. Cool color, huh? Now this goes in the freezer. Uh, soft serve, about three hours. I'm going to go hard and uh, leave it in overnight. This bottle is... Uh, Double the size I should have used, or I could have made a double batch. That's what she looks like. Very nice. There is a trick to this though, to get it to freeze good. I don't know why it works, how it works. It's magic. But it works. <laughs> That's all that matters. Wrap the bottle in paper towel. Sides in the top. Make the paper towel wet. Set it in the bowl. In the freezer. Like I say, three hours uh, for soft serve. But I'm going for hard ice cream this time. Overnight. We will do a taste test tomorrow. Okay, today is tomorrow. I'm ready to eat some ice cream. But first, we gotta get it out of the bottle. I find the easiest way to get it out of the bottle is to run it under the tap. You don't want to use hot water for this. You will break the bottle. But regular tap water works fine. Okay, here's what she looks like. It looks good. On the inside. Again, by running water over the bottle, it releases it from the sides, and then it's easy enough to get out. I think it's time for a taste test. Well, here it is. This is the entire, entire batch. Like I said, it's only one cup, right? It is hard, but it's melting fast. Here's what it looks like. It's 
this one is is better as a soft serve I think makes a real nice soft serve and that's the easiest way to get it out of a bottle now I'll give you the lowdown on what I think of making homemade ice cream I've made five different kinds now and I'll put the link to each one at the bottom of the written recipe so you can check them all out it's amazing how easy it is to make your own ice cream uh, for me it's hard as a rock but it's delicious so blueberry would be my favorite the second one is chocolate now I've always loved chocolate ice cream I've always pretty much only eaten chocolate ice cream the chocolate ice cream I made is as good as any chocolate ice cream I've ever had I tell you what that was delicious and it's easy to make and it's how this one should be made the mason jar thing making it in a bottle it works but it's a gimmick you know what I mean Uh, it's actually easier to whip it in a mason jar than it is to do it by hand. But you could use a hand uh, electric mixer. But using a whisk, it works. It just the mason jar is easier. But the chocolate ice cream, that the way that came out, oh my god! And I made it with since I made that video, I made it with uh, less chocolate, so it's not as sweet. Really good really really good then it would be the strawberry ice cream so that's three then this one and then the vanilla and I made the vanilla first and there's nothing wrong with the vanilla this is just vanilla plus you know just those few Oreo crumbs makes the difference makes a nice difference actually like I say I prefer soft serve and these these ones to make really good soft serve ice cream and the chocolate one is the easiest one to scoop but the, the strawberry and the blueberry is not bad these get really hard the vanilla ones get really hard But the chocolate one, you can just scoop it out, no problem. And right now, first time ever in my life, I have four different kinds of ice cream in the freezer. <laughs> How cool is that? All homemade. How cool is that? All right, guys. Well, that's it. As always, thanks for watching. The link to the written recipe is in the video description and like I said I'll put all the ice cream that I've made so far at the bottom of that blog and you can decide which one's best for you. Try them all, they're all easy to do. You can make them all in one day, no problem. Then you'll be very happy to be eating ice cream for weeks. <laughs> Why are you so hard?